Good evening, everyone. This is Penny of Whitney Art LLC coming to you live from the Ice House in Macon, Georgia. A uh, little bit of information about the Ice House. It was built around 1940, somewhere in that time period. Um, it has undergone two renovations in its lifetime. The first renovation was around 1977, and that renovation had it looking more like a Frank Lloyd Wright House, for those architects out there know who that is, uh, than, than the current version. Now we have the contemporary version, which is more like an office space. So the original purpose of the ice house was exactly what it sounds like. It, it housed ice. Uh, back in the 1940s, during that time period, people would get their ice and the huge blocks and they would take it home and they would just chip it away and that would be their ice for the week and then at the end of the week they would come back and get more ice so the ice house is exactly what it sounds like it is an ice house or it was an ice house now it is an office building and it houses attorneys and various other types of of uh, businesses i believe um, but that's enough about the history of the Ice House. Let's go ahead and turn this over to Whitney and get started on why y'all are watching to begin with his beautiful paintings. All right, now I'm so excited to get started on this. And I was thinking about <clears throat> I was thinking about doing a ultramarine uh, red shade on the on the sky because it looks like there may be a little pinky purpley reddish stuff but i decided what i'll do is i'll go ahead and make the green shade of the sky so it'll complement the what was that honey oh so to complement the uh the red and we'll just see what that looks like. If not, I can always go back over the sky and, and do something else. So, oh, I want to show you this is, uh, a, I don't know if, how you keep your brushes, but there's a good way I try to keep my uh, brushes, bristles from getting crushed while I'm there in transport. <laughs> so I'm gonna, I'll probably just use two, these two brushes. I brought a couple of small, a small round brush and a small filbert, just in case I get to that point. But I will, I will use, I'm going to use the number eight filbert and the number five angle shader today. I want to get, I, I really need to use my script brush when I get in here in the windows. Anyway, let me, let me get started. So the How, sky, yeah. How do you feel about finishing this in an hour? Do you think this will be one that'll be easy to finish in an hour? Or do you think you'll need to take it back to the studio? Well, let's see how far we get today because this is this is exciting i love and i i, I want to uh, i hope we get into the windows and even if we don't i will <laughs> if we don't finish everything all right so i like to i like to put start out with my sky real uh dark not real dark but darker at the top I'm gonna experiment a little bit and come in and have a little bit of unbleached white. And then I will add at the very bottom a little bit of uh, a little bit of titanium white right here. Okay. Now since I'm using acrylic on this. I want to give it a give it some room, some uh, what do you call it? It's like medium. This would be the oil. Go ahead. I'm doing it all at once, all at the same time. All my blending, all my everything, and I'll go ahead and get some of this graphite off. Uh, any of the powder that would be left over from the pencil or any erase marks or anything like that. Go ahead and get all of that. Wipe all that off. That comes off pretty easily, doesn't it? 
Yeah, that's just the stuff that would have got into the paint. Not really worried about it because, uh, as you can see, not gonna have a problem. Now when it starts getting wet, because it's wet already. And look, my, my, my leg is, hey, while you're down there, shout out to Randy. I got Randy my Parker Park. clouds on. Can you see that? Oh yeah. We got got my park clouds. <laughs> we love Randy. He's an inspirational artist. We love we support that. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and get started. And we'll we're gonna be at the opera house tonight. That's my paintbrush. Actually, I might need to adjust this a little bit. And I like to start right up here. And get some paint on there. Right, what's going on at the Opera House tonight we're doing? Well, I wanted to t t talk a little bit about that because the Opera House is special to me because in the 80s, I play, I play the violin with the uh, Youth Symphony, making Youth Symphony Orchestra. And we would play at the Opera House and it was so much fun. Uh, we played, I played, when I did, when I did it, I was, we played the Nutcracker Suite during the Christmas times. I'm going to go ahead and bring this down here. So we'll be getting, I've got a pretty good layer of gesso on here. Mm -hmm. And what I want to do is get the paint on there to start with and then I've probably got about two or three minutes maybe five maybe about five minutes and I don't think we'll put that crane in yeah vote out there do you think Whitney should uh, include this crane in this painting or do you think you should leave it out what do y'all think yeah I'm thinking leave it out but we'll see and this is what I wanted to experiment with. And this may not turn out right. This may not turn out good, but we'll see. Paula's watching. Boom. She says no crane. Yeah, okay. <laughs> That's what I was thinking. I was thinking, I don't know if I want to put the crane in here. I like playing with the sky and I could play with the sky all day long, but we want to I want to get into this part. This is this is what I really want to get into. So I'll go ahead and get some of the get the basic idea of of the sky. We'll say clouds are coming in here this way. Yeah, it's a beautiful day to be out here. It's oh uh, yeah, it's you know, gorgeous. The, the clouds, the sky is really clear. And it's got beautiful clouds. Show y'all a little bit of what we got going on sky wise. And again, I don't think I'm gonna have a lot of reds in the sky because I don't know what kind of red that is right now. The lights just came on. And I like to put round brushes, round strokes in the sky just to give it that awesome look. I think it's nice. And you may have your favorite way of doing the sky. I didn't really like the unbleached white in there. I just decided to try it while we were out here so I could see what it looked like. Blended in very nice, very nice. All right, now I'll get a, a little bit more that up there try to but okay and then I'll get the real white white down here if I want to put a cloud in there and we'll we'll just put a cloud in there right here Pew. do that
anyone joining us, you can say hello. We'd like to say hello to you all. We do um, comment when we see comments, and, and when, we, when we get comments, we do reply. So yeah, um, let us know you're watching. Say hello to us, and we'll say hello back. Right, and you can see, so there's going to be a real big tree right there, and that's okay. We want the sky to kind of be, as it goes down, I want the horizontal brush strokes right in here. And I'll be able to see the tree through the tree at the bottom. No problem. We'll get by. So, what I was going to say, what I was going to say at the top, the top of the sky, you're going to have a lot of this going on. As, as you get down toward the bottom, of course, the clouds are going to be smaller and more horizontal. And they do have a, a perspective as well. So they'll like, in, as far as like the direction of it, direction of it goes. But just for this, I don't want to spend too much time on the sky. Uh, look, the street lamp, the street lamp came on. Mm -hmm. So, oh man, I could just spend so much time and the sky is just beautiful. Now, I'm gonna get into this, it's gonna be fun. Get a little bit more white down here. Now, while I still got my blue. Paula says, hi Whitney and Penny, beautiful day. Yeah, it is, gorgeous day. <clears throat> Perfect day to be out doing plein air. Yep. <clears throat> Come out and join us if you can. Yeah, and I want to take my time. Yep. And get everything on the sides. Right in here is okay. Okay, so about five minutes we'll spend on that. And I don't see any more sky in there uh, let's go and what, what I want to do with the windows is uh, make them dark to begin with and then I will put the white light the light on it uh, let me get my big shapes or not hmm Tell you what, we'll do it this way. I'll start out. Now I want to start out with another. Just in case I want to use some of this, I'll wet it up, wet it real good. Put it over there. Wipe my hands off. And uh, what I think what we'll do is get the, the get the dark places first, and then. And then we'll come back with the uh, bricks in the house and everything. And then the trees and then the parking lot. Whoa, no, no, no. I might do the parking lot. Nah, we'll get the darks first. Okay. Now, I don't want to... I don't want that to squirt in a stream like that. I kind of want it to do that. Now this sky should be drying. What I want to do with the sky is this. This will really blend it in better and good and I don't have all those little brush strokes everywhere. What are you using to do that? This is the, the, little, the little gauze pad I got. I want to keep some of my shapes and forms. This really helps it a lot. Paula says there's a beautiful tree right here. Where? <laughs> Beside us. This is gorgeous. We could just do this tree. We could just do this tree. This is incredible. Yeah. Love it, love it, love it. Anyway, I don't want really to get too involved with sky at moments. Maybe we'll do a whole thing on the sky one day. I think you should do a sky painting because you do great with skies. But, okay, the focus. And a lot of times, a good sky will make the building look beautiful. Mm. Okay. Now, I don't want to get... Ooh, yeah, 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 yeah. That looks like a good, uh, a good, um, 
good pavement right there, actually. I want to get the... the parking lot in there. Now the building. Here and here is the top of the building. And these angles are just mm -hmm. ever so slightly. And I'm going to show the building again. Kind of want to exaggerate a little bit. Right get there. that good shadow in there too. Mm, it's gorgeous. All right, let's see where the top of the building is. This building. Try to get my marker. I think that guy's going to join us. I hope so. That looks cool. <clears throat> All right, and then we got this. Maybe that's Mark. This right here. Okay, a little bit too far. Now, we got this. This is absolutely beautiful. Any because the the sun is oh the sun is hitting it just right. Now we're gonna go all the way up here for this tree. I think what we're right about in here. Now this tree does something really interesting. Right in the middle, it goes over this way, and then it kind of does that. And then I'll put the other side of it in. You know what? I'll do it real quick because I've got the I've got actually got the paint over here. Just to kind of show you what it's gonna look like. And actually this one right here. Hey. If you got a permit to paint here, there's only a part of so many emissions. Hello! house every year so if you haven't got your permit then you gotta leave oh no <laughs> you know who i am i hope mark i'm mark thompson yeah <laughs> can we get you on camera well sure okay hi mark hi there thanks for How coming are you out doing? <laughs> having fun yet we are having a blast absolutely not as much fun as he's having uh, he's having a lot more fun than we are that's true oh, that's we'll get true. We'll, we'll get that we'll get that when we start getting the trees this is my family's project for 14 years old. I love it. Yeah, tell us a little bit about yeah, it. Yeah, here. But uh, I'm going to continue to paint. That's fine. And uh, just go back, you know, just scan a little bit. And yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll do this. About what I'm doing. And I'll just focus on this. So tell us a little bit about what you're saying. This is your family's project? Um, my dad bought this when I was 14 years old. Yeah. Um, it belonged to Bill Late, who was a lieutenant governor at the, at some point in mm -hmm. time. Mm -hmm. And dad bought this and converted it to the um, to office space. The bigger part of the building on the back side uh -huh. did not exist at that point. Uh, okay. The original building was this front section right here. Okay. When Dad originally designed it, there were two triangular towers, one on this side of the building and one on that side of the building. Mm -hmm. And um, his office was up in the crow's nest upstairs to overlook the Coliseum, uh -huh. which he designed when I was about 10 years old. Wow. And, um, Originally, this end right here, just where, about where the UPS box is, yeah. there was a two-story wooden ladder that got you up on the roof. Wow. <laughs> wow. Which was kind of scary That at is times. pretty scary. <laughs> um, in early 80s or so, maybe late 80s, somewhere around there, my brothers took over the building and the towers were actually, they were 30 years old, so 14, 24, 34, 44, yeah, about my mid-40s. Mm -hmm. The towers were starting to collapse in, uh. so they got all the tenants out of the building and redid the building mm -hmm. and then opened it back up to what it is today. The newer section, um, the local brick company here actually came and matched the color of the older part of the building to the oh, newer part of the building. Nice. Um, here at the end, 
and going on this end where the ladder was, uh -huh. going around that way, there used to be a loading dock because this is the old Atlantic Ice and Coal Company built in the 1940s. And there were ice doors about that thick, about six foot tall down in the basement. Wow. There was cork all over the walls cork? in the early 70s. Cork. Yeah. They had a fire in there because they were running an acetylene torch and it caught some of the cork on fire. Oh, no. <laughs> but it was like the fire department came in out and put it out real quick. Yeah. Um, the, this right here, it used to be um, probably like from this set of parking places that way mm -hmm. was the old Browns moving company. Mm. They would bring their trucks in here and such like that. It was a trucking company. Mm -hmm. And um, when they finished out that, we kind of procured the property. Dad originally wanted to do a river overlook with the restaurant Ooh. out across the river property, a river, but that kind of never materialized. Wow, that would have been wonderful. Um, I was still in favor of it for a long period of time. Mm -hmm. Just the other side of the railroad tracks, and you'll have to research this. It was a place called G. Burns. It was an old cowhide tanning place and hmm. stunk the hell and back. I bet it did. <laughs> I had to shoot photographs of it before they dismantled it. Uh -huh. It's where the doctor's office is down there now. We'll have to go check that um, out. It's not a do I'm not sure it's a doctor's office anymore, but there's a was a building there uh -huh. um but before they dismantled it my dad wanted pictures of it so i would walk in there oh click <laughs> oh, because it stunk so i mean it was a cow tannery basically right, right. <laughs> and you could always tell when the wind oh was blowing God. in the wrong direction because the tenants here on this end would actually shut their windows and oh, any door no. going to the outside oh. because that smell permeated. That sounds horrible. <laughs> <laughs> it was. Yikes. So you're working at the Storyteller event tonight? No, oh. I've got a friend that's speaking at the oh, Storyteller. Newt Collier, Collier who played yeah. with Sam and Dave in his heyday. Can't oh, yeah. We're right. excited about tonight. that. We're going to that right after this. Yeah. Um, I'm going to be somewhere in the orchestra pit section right there around the sound now, table. You know, I used to play uh, in the 80s. I played in the uh, Youth Symphony Orchestra, and we played at the Opera House. Yeah. We would play the Nutcracker. Newt had a record store over wow. on 2nd wow. Street somewhere. He can tell you more about I, it. I, I can't wait to meet him. Yeah, definitely. To put this building when Dad redid it, was kind of ahead of its time. Mm -hmm. They were, you know, but. It was, it was yeah. a very new, uh, a contemporary. To mm -hmm. put it in perspective, and this is a fact a lot of people don't know, mm -hmm. was my dad had an architectural company down here. Um, he was an Auburn graduate. He had the architectural company down here for W.P. Thompson Architect. Mm -hmm. But he also had a commercial architectural firm. They did, Dad, the Macon Airport was done the year I was born. Uh -huh. The city limits was Pierce Avenue in 59. Wow. Um, Dad did the Macon Airport that year. When I was 10, he and two of his partners in Atlanta Company did the um, Coliseum. Mm -hmm. It was originally designed as a sports arena and as they were figuring, finishing it up or partway through it, they decided they wanted it to play, you know, have music concerts there. So they tried to import sound control and it, it screwed up royally. Couldn't do it. Uh, it didn't wow. do it and people would always bitch, but it was never really designed for concerts till they'd already gotten through the process. Till, right, till much later. Wow, that's um, fascinating. Dad once told me that they designed the Coliseum um, reflecting some of the Indian Mountain architecture. Oh, wow. Which is a kind of cool fact. That is cool. That's super cool. Um, wow. When they did the Coliseum, Dad's company up in Atlanta was Tom Sebenchelant and Stainback and Associates. Mm -hmm. And he um, did, um, you know, did that up there, him and Tom and Ray Stainback. And um, they actually, his first big project up in Atlanta was Omni. Oh, his yeah. retirement project was the Dome Stadium 
they did the aquarium mm. after he retired. Oh, wow. And um, this year they had their first female president of the company. Wow. So the company went on beyond the original three partners. Right, right. But, you know, this is all from a, bo a, a man from Moultrie, Georgia. Wow. Um, you know, did all this. He always envisioned, um, you know, would I have two of his 30-year plans that he wrote on the city of Macon. Wow, a 30-year plan. Yeah, he, uh, he and wow. this was in the 70s he was doing Dang. this. Dang. And it's like, they'd done maybe three quarters <laughs> of what he proposed in 1970. Wow. I can't imagine having a 30-year plan. That's pretty good. That's, that's My pretty dad was very systematic. Yes. That, in, that inspires me. To, what? That inspires me. And I want to do, and I want to do a 40-year plan. You know, um, <laughs> yeah. well, you look I back at, take um, it one level. Jim Carrey. Yeah. Who, when he started um, doing the thing, he wrote himself like a, some millions of dollar check, <laughs> post dated, and um, because he was like, I'm going to, you know, this is how famous I'll be, you know, right. and stuff like that. Right. And when he buried his father, he buried his father with the check. But it was kind of like, again, it was that visionary spot. Right. Taking it to that, to that level. Gotta do it. We need to do that, Whitney. We'll do it. He also wanted to get the train tracks moved out of Macon. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can understand. Now, look, uh, this is gorgeous right over here. That's oh, I know. Gorgeous. Look at the tra uh, everything around here. The See, bridges. I used to throw newspaper routes for a couple of years. Oh, my God. I had a newspaper route. Uh, uh, yeah. I had the Nottingham oh, Drive God. area. I was making um, big, fat chubby woman was our manager. I can't remember her name anymore even, hmm. but I worked for them for just short of two years. And the reason I quit was because they were basically had, even at the beginning, stuff I'd cancel, they wouldn't cancel. And were taking out of my pay every, so I finally oh, no. quit yeah. quitting them. But it's like I was doing 900 to to $1,000 a month. <laughs> Wow. Over on the Nottingham Drive area, so that was kind of cool. That is cool. Wow. It's a lot. I'm going to go ahead and get the street in here. Okay. I was the artist of the family. It actually comes from my mother's side of the family. Uh huh. Um, the potters up in the font on the Folk Art Museum up in Helen, Georgia. Uh huh. The Dor Dorseys and the Sosbys are listed. Uh, they were potters in the northeast Georgia mountains. Yeah. And um, so it's like there's an art kick. And I was the artist of that generation. My niece, Libby, who's my um, son, my dad, my brother's um, child, mm -hmm. has now picked up the artistry again. So it's like, ooh. Right, right. <laughs> exactly. Wow. My brothers went on their Piedmont construction group here in town. Oh, yeah. And so three out of the four kids are actually still doing downtown Macon stuff, <laughs> which and is kind of cool. Did you say you're working for Newtown Macon? Yes, I work with oh, Newtown okay. Macon. What, I've been there. there? And, um, I'm a photographer by trade. My title is Assistant Spe Special Events Coordinator. I was originally the first... Um, Park ranger out at Amerson. Oh, what? Fun. When they hired me. Oh, wow. That's a. Uh, wow. And it was we, a very cool job, you know. Yeah. We just they, made friends. You know, this with is them. my. This is one of the most congenial group of people I ever worked with. They pay me about twenty four, twenty five thousand a year, plus another five in perks and insurance and all that stuff. Right. And I mean, you couldn't find a better job than I got. I don't have to be in, the, in at nine o'clock. It's the perfect attention deficit job. Oh, wow. <laughs> I need that kind of job. <laughs> and I mean, it's kind of like, I just kind of stumbled into it. Yeah. And um, Mike Ford hired me. <laughs> wow. Oh, yeah, Mike Ford. We met someone that's friends with Mike Ford last week. What was her name? Susan Woodard. What's that? Susan Woodard. Brooks. No, um, is that right? Yeah. Or is that the, the, she owns? No, we're with this lady that we met last week. He was talking about Mike Ford. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, she was really sweet. I know a Susan Whittle. 
Okay. But we call her Brooke. She bought the old Girl Scout Center over on Riley Avenue uh -huh. and opened up an art studio there. Oh, yeah. An art training and student, you know, they'd have students and such. Yeah. And Brooks and I grew up together. Wow. She even babysat me for a little while because she's about 10 years older. Okay. Yeah. Huh. You should go sell this to my brothers after you finish. <laughs> Uh, this I'm excited about this one. Yeah. Now this one, this is going to turn out good because I thought it's, about it. I'm actually trying to find some of my old photographs of the building mm. because I know I've got them there. Now we saw the one where the trees were just like just planted. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yes. And I'm like, oh, that well, would have been. I helped with that. <laughs> that was awesome. That would have been the job. time. That would have been the time to come out here and do this. Yeah, when the trees were. Sh we'll do it in the winter when the trees are not. Blooming. But Paula says looking good. Their renovations in the mid 80s or so. Yeah, this is what I wanted to get to. Yeah, it looks yeah. very contemporary now. It's not because I, I, I know it may have been early 2000 actually. When I heard the the renovation that happened in the 70s had it looking like kind of like a Frank Lloyd Wright kind of feel well, to see, it. And that's very ironic because. Frank Lloyd Wright was my dad's idol. Oh my goodness. Well, that <laughs> would make sense. <laughs> mm -hmm. This building did not belong in Macon. Yeah. <laughs> you know, the way. It was out there. It was out there, but when you consider it. Omni, Omni National World Congress right, Center, all, that. all the things he did, uh -huh. it yeah. makes this building it, make a lot of sense. It, it does. It into the, yeah. I remember yeah, as a child, I would see it, and it just, just inspired me. I wanted to be an architect. Yeah. Because it, you were, you could do stuff like that. Dad's office is down here on the first floor in the old part of the building, and um, but then he, in the tower, you know where the new building is. There was the one of the triangular towers, uh -huh. and we called it the crow's nest. It was the upstairs office, uh -huh. and um, and Dad's office was up there, and it overlooked the Coliseum. Wow. Selma Redding rented the office right below him uh -huh. because the overlooked the Otis Redding Bridge. And so I've known Zelma since I was a teenager. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's cool. Wow. Paula says, yes, I remember all about the ice house. Interesting. Yes. Yes, Paula was looking into it too. I did. going on these things it seems like I would uh, an hour goes by it's so quick. yeah it does it does I don't mean to insult you about what's going through attention deficit I think of very weird facts <laughs> and the fact that you're doing it and he's that gaudy awful painter on GPTV that he this is how you paint clouds I mean oh, it just yeah. it, yeah. He treats I, everybody sure like they're imbeciles. I can't even tell you oh, his name, about, um, but he Bob? treats everybody like they're imbeciles. <laughs> the happy trees guy? Yeah. Happy little tree, yeah. What? Not Bob Ross. Bob Ross, yes. No. <laughs> he just, he just, he's like, you know, he has his purpose and he, you know, but it's just kind of like... <laughs> I've ne you know what? I've never really watched it, but what I've seen... I mean, he does good, nice, quick pieces, mm -hmm. but at the same point in time, it's kind of like, I don't know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he He's okay, but he wouldn't be my top choice painter. You know, there's a lot, there's a lot of people that love Bob Ross. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I mean, that's the thing. <laughs> and he inspires people that were, usually would be sitting on their ass and not doing it. Oh, right, God. Which right. Which even more power to him. <laughs> yeah. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> so we're getting into it. We'll get It's there. only 6.30, so you have half an hour still. That's good. That's good. Okay. Yeah, so it's looking good. It's coming together. And I'm excited about it. I just want to get something down right now. And if it's the wrong color, I can go back and adjust it because I know what I want. Yeah. So I've got, I'm going to get, I will get the shade on this side after I get my sunlight bricks. And... 
I just want to put a little bit of this in there just so I can see what it looked like. These are all my colors. And that is just for reference. May or may not see what I want to see. Do. This is the perfect time. I love to photograph during this time of exactly. day. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Now, I was like, telling, yeah, mm -hmm. it's the this right is the time, time of, year. of day to be right an artist. Day. Mm -hmm. Right time of day. Right time of day. Yeah. It's perfect. You get good sunlight in, in the morning mm -hmm. and in the evening. Yep. And once I, would I get something really, really see like how the sunlight's hitting those leaves over there? Mm hmm. I've got to get that real quick because I've got about seven minutes, seven, eight, nine, ten minutes, and it'll change. They're going to get out. And then I'm like, where was I? Oh, I know the thing. Where was I? I see, I see the light is so beautiful. I can see every leaf on that tree. One, two, three, four, five. I've always been impressed with um, Ansel Adams. Um, mm -hmm. It's oh, the little it. Mexican town that he filmed because he was driving out of town, New Mexico. Mm -hmm. He was driving out of town and saw the picture in his rear view mirror, jumped out, set up his four by five view camera, put the person in, guesstimated the exposure, wow. took the slide out, took the first picture, put the slide in and flipped the film back uh -huh. and put it in and pulled it and the scene was gone. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's like happened. it happens that quick sometimes. It does, it does, it does. I literally had my, um, all I had was my cell phone, and I had walked out of the office at Newtown, and have you met Brian Nichols, of course? He's the guy that does sure. the Christmas light stuff. He owns Taste and See. Oh, great. No, Brian, um, I literally walked out, and there was a wonderful kind of orange cloud right here, and some of it was some lights that were, you know, tungsten or something, but the orange cloud lit up, and Brian had all the Christmas lights up before, mm -hmm. right before the show started. Mm -hmm. Within two minutes, the show started and the lights weren't there anymore. But it's a very cool photograph. Wow, yeah. It sounds like it. You have it? So it's that kind of thing of you got to strike while the iron is hot. Yes, <laughs> absolutely, it. right. I live in an 1890s house. Ooh, Ooh I love is, that. Uh, just across Walnut, two doors down from Sculptures, and it was ready to move into with two car Wall Street parking when I bought it. Oh, nice. I sold the acre and eight North Macon property uh -huh. <laughs> and came downtown. Yeah. Yeah, we live in a 1920s house. When I moved into I the like Ribley it. house, it was 1950, was built in 1957. The toilet was date stamped two years older than I was. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> that kind of humor. Yes, right. Wow. I got to meet the guys that did this today. Oh, was that Randy? Um, I don't know their names. Oh, love that. But yeah. he did the pink, they did the Pink Panther last weekend over the one on... Who was that one? Do you remember? Yeah, yeah, but yeah. But they were redoing that's it even, for Halloween because now. everybody keeps coming and painting over it. Yeah, so. they did. The, the yeah. Pink Panther got covered. Did it? Yeah. Oh, no. That was incredible. Yeah, we know uh, Randy Hart. We like him. He's, he's, he's a graffiti inspiring. artist. Yeah, he is. That is my photograph. Oh. in the bright light program oh, they're like on the that. rookery wall in the alley yeah <laughs> that's yours that's mine i love that i love one. that yes. yes i was down at saint pete i mean down at the keys with the boy scouts this oh, is my God. first round of underwater photography oh i did not process them down till wow. this year basically and i was like wow that's i mean i was like cool. for my first kind of underwater photography i mean that wow i want to go back and paint some of these yeah those are beautiful paintings i love this oh just i love the those colors, colors are just and this is the first time i, did, I had the hand water camera housing if newtown knew every <laughs> their camera has been <laughs> <laughs> and i'm on camera number two. Oh my goodness or three one of them, I <laughs> wow Hmm. I mean, there is a barracuda. Wow. Hmm. Which That's was neat. really, there was fun stuff. I bet it was. We have the right profession. 
Yeah, absolutely. I know, I can't imagine Whitney doing anything besides this. This is just exactly what he needs to be doing. All right, now, when I, ooh, when I got, I'm gonna pick, put this, what I'm doing with the shadow right here, mm -hmm. I put in some green. I mixed in some green with what I've got. So this color right here that I'm painting now mm -hmm. is, is this color with a little bit of green in it. Gotcha. And I've got so much of it on my brush. My honeymoon. Right oh. <laughs> I love that. I saw that. That's so funny. I, 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 my wife actually would shot that picture. <laughs> I did one. I was up at Denali a couple of years on an Alaskan cruise. Oh, wow. And at the hotel that right there at the place you stay, they had a um, two rams butting heads, mm -hmm. and I went between, and the guy was like, you're the first person I've ever seen do that. I went and stood between the rams, went. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh, yeah. That's the one that's of the Christmas good. lights. Oh, that's gorgeous. Wow. Which is just like two seconds. Two, within two minutes, that shot was gone. Right, right. I only had time to pull the phone out and shoot it. Wow. Oh, Nadia says, love all the history on your art. Isn't that fascinating? It is fascinating. I mean, so what was much. that? Our uh, artists, there's every so, so much is, is oh, yeah. the, the, the history of it. Yeah, we have a, like someone commented, love all the history on your art, which is Fascinating. This is what, yeah. And Macon has got so much history. It does. Historic it really does. Macon right. just bought the old firehouse over on Plum Street. Mm -hmm. And a re, you know, re, uh, there was a push to make it a fire museum. Oh, yeah. And that didn't happen, but Historic Macon bought it to mm -hmm. secure it. And put, they're moving their offices in there out of the one down here at the end of Pinona and going to mm -hmm. rent that one. Okay. But it's like, all right. Ethiel. Ethiel is just a really neat person and you know it's a great lead at historic making. Mm -hmm. My boss Josh Rogers mm -hmm. led yeah. historic oh, making. Yeah, it's okay. I'm getting Make it. sure you can hear. Yeah, we can. Okay. We're getting it. My boss Josh Rogers mm -hmm. was head of historic making before he took the position at Newtown Macon. <laughs> gotcha. Huh. But I did tell Ethiel you need to put it's crying out. It's an old fire station in like the 1860s it was built. It was ones that wow. the guys worked in the factory next door, the firefighters. Uh -huh. And when a fire would come, they would just run just over run. and go yeah. do it. Wow. But um, I told wow. Ethel, it's an old fireplace. You have got to stick a pole in it. Yes, exactly. <laughs> and probably for liability reasons, you don't want it going from one floor to the other. Right. But you could <laughs> put historic making banners on it. Mm -hmm. You could do... What, that tree is really cool. <laughs> Thank you. They're, they're fun to do. Yeah. And the, the leaves, they just go all kinds of different ways. They never, they're never all in one spot. They never all go in one direction. And it, it just try to... You, you got the perfect angle for blocking out the cranes behind yeah. all, <laughs> <laughs> Of course, all these. The, uh, the glory of painting is you don't have to put everything in. You exactly. See. Nope. Yeah, we discussed that if we wanted the cranes in there or not, but we decided not. Yeah. We don't know. Um, it, you just make, we make a lot of decisions on the fly. Yeah. yeah. We like to, sometimes we'll put that stuff in. Yeah, depending. Well, it, it, he I did think a, we've done something like that before. He did a beautiful landscape in Atlanta and that, that was one thing we discussed because they, they we call. We put ducks. Yeah, we, we put, put ducks. ducks in the pond. Yep because there was some ducks that were fl uh, floating by, swimming by. <laughs> so we just kind of had creative license to add things like that. That's Newt. <laughs> oh! Oh yeah, we're gonna- Have you, you've met him? We'll be, we'll be listening to him, him later. No. Yeah. And he's gonna to be him. up on stage. <laughs> we'll love to hear his story. I can't wait. We know um, Molly, 
Mike Williams. Wilkins. Yeah. I'm not one of our biggest fans. Oh, so. no. <laughs> we love her. We yeah. do. Well, we there are everybody. people that don't like me, too, in all defense. Of hey, <laughs> I, some people don't like me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's, that's like, what you do. That's what happens when you put yourself out there. Yep. You're going to make friends, and you're going to make people, you're going to find people that like you and people that don't. Yep. One and of that, my you know biggest what? criticisms that's okay. was she was that's too much okay. of a copycat. That's when okay. DeSoto Moore started the Peace guy Day. around town. Peace Peace Day. Day. Yeah. yeah, she yeah. started the girl around town after that. And it's uh, like, oh, come on, be, you know. <laughs> uh, I gotcha. Yeah. She has a very narcissistic personality, which again, it, yeah. it's what shape and defines her. <laughs> right. <laughs> and right. there's nothing wrong with that. You know, I mean, I've, I've, I've imitated other people because I, I imitate people that I admire. Yeah. And that's. A I good have to thing. try to keep some thoughts inside my head. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we understand that. Because <laughs> this was a um, up in College Park, they had a water, mm -hmm. one of the, the on the ground water things that they painted murals all the way around oh, it. Oh yeah. And it was just a very neat thing. Paula says, "Looking beautiful." I can't wait to get some That's of these. That's the view out of my bathroom window. Oh, wow. <laughs> what, are those apartments or those houses? Those are apartments, okay. actually. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay, yeah. Uh, okay. I have a friend named Amy Bacon. Uh -huh. I bought her some salt and pepper shakers uh -huh. because... Oh, no. <laughs> bacon, bacon. <laughs> oh, my gosh, no. <laughs> <laughs> she loved it. <laughs> yeah. My mother was a postal carrier. She retired as a postal carrier. Yeah. And we got her these great salt and pepper shakers that had a um, postman running and a dog biting his butt. That's was, pretty cool. Yeah, it was really cute. So I inherited those. I have a guest bedroom that was always going to be the guest bedroom to me. But it had the god-awful, tackiest, hand-painted chandelier in it, oh, red. Wow. wow. And I like it. It had to go until my artistic sense of humor kicked in. <laughs> and I now refer to it as the Red Light District. I'm actually getting a postcard <laughs> that I can mail to them. You booked your room in the Red Light <laughs> District. But Shannon Riddle did the Rocky Horror Picture Show oh, characters. Yeah. Okay. And so I got them for, for those, that. For that room. And then yeah. another local artist, not find his name, did the Aphrodite picture. Oh, yeah. So it goes perfect in the Red Light District. Yeah, it does. That's that's definitely so, perfect for that. <laughs> the, the, it got to stay. Wow. These are three pieces I bought back from a house they were demolishing in Cuba when I went with oh, the store at Macon. Wow. <laughs> Wow. Huh. I was in Cuba for a little while. I got my sailing license in Cuba. Guantanamo. You gotta go sailing. That is a piece of pottery I did for my mother. She went to China several times. Oh, I like that. And I made this from her and put fake Chinese letters on it. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is a dark tree right here. Let me show you the tree. Now, I want the dark, and I get, want the darks closer what's closest to me the darks and interesting. have you met brian nichols taste and see mm -mm. i was down in savannah we were eating at a place and this is brian's twin brother once removed and i mean when i saw him i was like oh my god i showed brian's pictures to his employees yeah and showed him the picture and showed brian this and yeah. brian's was like oh my god he's your twin wow <laughs> all right now i Everyone just want to explain this one thing okay as i go I'm, I'm gonna bring this this tree right here i'm gonna make this tree seem like it's behind that tree by putting just a little bit of white in it all right and that what that effectively does is it makes it appear to recede into the background wow so now that tree is behind that tree mm -hmm. it is you're right that's a good concept <laughs> so cool. now i got white in here now if i want to 
get it off. Gonna have to. Instead of putting white on the highlights right here on this tree, mm -hmm. I want to take I want to take my uh, the white off of my brush. And put the high chroma yellow. The high chroma right here, it brings it forward. Mm. It brings it forward. The white pushes it back. So you see right here, I've got my high chroma yellow. That's mm -hmm. part of this tree. And it makes it look like it's in front of that. It does, you're right. I want to play with it. The more you can see. All right, so I want to kind of move and on, move along, and get a little more white. Oh wait. Oh yeah. So there's a lot going on with this. Yeah, nine minutes. There's a lot going on. I want to get these right in there. Have you been to the storytelling event before? Um, yes, I've yeah. been to it before. Yeah. We can, yeah, we're excited. This is about a that. painting that I have not oh. finished yet. I call it Ice Phoenix. It was basically a brainstorming painting. Oh, yeah? Mm -hmm. That's really good. Yeah. And I'm probably going to put Indian teepees down at the bottom because I've got the oxbow from Amerson on there. Oh. And I'm, I've told Mike Ford he gets that picture when I finish it. <laughs> awesome. We all have our fun little party friends. Yeah. <laughs> of people I went to photography school with. Yeah. We get together October every six months. One of them's around October for a thing. Uh -huh. And the year and the girl that plays in Blue Sky bass guitar in Blue Sky Blue and I, unbeknownst to each other, decided to go as Brad and Janet. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all didn't plan that? I did not. Well, no. I wasn't wow. aware she was doing it and she wasn't aware I was doing wow. it. Wow. Gosh. I haven't thought about that in years. But I did not wear the tidy whities <laughs> <laughs> That's Brad's trademark. I, would, I hope... I wish, that's, it's too bad we ran out of time because I wanted to get into all of this stuff. And I she, did this painting in the sixth grade. Oh. <laughs> yeah. What is, what is that? It was a man with birds flying above his head. The part, one part was done in ink where you would take strips of paper with ink on them. Uh -huh. And the other was um, you did the little pastel colors in it too. Oh yeah. But it was like, yeah. I was in sixth grade when I did that. <laughs> oh, Cheryl Trexler's watching. Hi, Hi Cheryl. Cheryl. We What's love up? you. I'm oh, sure. We're gonna we're 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 gonna see if we can find the last few scenes of the Ten Commandments and do one of those. Well, yeah. That's a good place for the bushes. <laughs> yeah, and I'll try to. What I'll do is get a little white and blue. The idea is this: there's air, there's water in the air. And as, as the bushes and stuff and as things, you know, not just bushes, but as anything recedes into the distance, it's, it's, it's filtered with the, um, with, the, with the water droplets of the air and it makes it white and yellow, uh, white and blue. So you'll add white and blue to anything. Oh, Paula. What? What? Paula says, I'm going to give you guys a, tr a tripod that y'all can put the, the camera on. Oh, yeah. Thank you, Paula. You. <laughs> You're going to love them after they do that. Thank you, Paula. It, you can tell we need it. Is it kind of shaky? <laughs> I think it's just my angles are kind of funky. When I quit doing studio photography, um, ampersand at the time was, mm -hmm. and, and I gave, and I donated for a tax write-off, donated the backgrounds that I wasn't ever going to use again. Mm. Mm -hmm. Oh, I need more um, parking lot. So, more parking lot. Bring it so, on. Paula, is there anything that you want to see before we 
take this back to the studio. Studio, because I, we, we're going to we're going to listen to some amazing storytelling tonight. Yes, we're going to go to the Grand Opera House and, and look, listen to storytelling. There's a little bit more blue in here. Be there, be square. Exactly. <laughs> Oh yeah, and I've been square before. Yeah. So. All right, you gotta be. This <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah, he inspired me yeah. when I was young. He did. Because I just this was all the little picture of birds stuff. down at the beach oh, that yeah. I actually painted yes. the photograph. That's really and it, now it's my first out of state photo because it went with the buddy that I work with who lives in Pittsburgh now. So oh, I, yeah. like, you know, I have work in Pittsburgh. That's <laughs> right, exactly. <laughs> you take what you can get. Yep. Paula says, I can't wait to see the finished, to see that finished. It's looking be so beautiful. You're good with buildings, Whitney. Oh, yeah. Need to put. He is really good with buildings. I, I love the um, gateway. It's one of my favorites. Probably because I work there, too, but. I you like know it. where the North Macon Mall is. Mm -hmm. At the time, over on, off of Sheraton Drive, you know, at the time, my father was competing with Tom Hill Sr. Oh. for buying property out there. Uh -huh. And Dad was buying it just this side of that. Um, we sold part of the North Macon Mall property to them. Okay. He was buying that at the same time when I was 14, uh -huh. at the same period of time. Wow. I would drive tractors out there going, <laughs> what the hell are the splits? There's nothing out here, you know, and right. stuff like that. Right. When I started going out there, after they, I was like, holy shit. Oh, man. But again, you know, just that kind of, you know, at 14, he started buying up property as an yeah. investment. And yeah. he, and, you know, Sam him. Nunn was his partner and part of it. And such I've like. heard that. Wow, yeah. Before. Yep. I Sam did his first election again. Yep. Fourteen was uh, a very yeah, incredible a, year. Yeah. Um, because I actually helped hand out literature for Sam. Okay. And my dad was one of his biggest supporters. One of his supporters. Sam yeah. was a hell of a guy. I remember that. He name. Still is. That's uh, awesome. I wanted to show you guys. Uh, real quick. This is why. This is why I like acrylic because this dry. This will dry. This is dries. This is dry enough so that when I can I can come back over it. That's what I've been playing with. Is I love the acrylics. Mm -hmm. I do too. Mm -hmm. And when I was in art school, acrylics wasn't legit. Yeah. And you had that. to be oil or nothing. When I was 14, photography wasn't art. <laughs> yeah. Right. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? Yeah. Uh -huh. Oh, I wanted to show you what I wanted to do up here. Is get the. Clouds are big and intense. Get mm -hmm. You probably need to shoot a video of him and then go back and put them in. Yeah, he's got. We got a lot of pictures. Oh yeah, we get some of these. Look, these I are know. these serious clouds. Nice. Those clouds exist almost on a daily basis. Mm -hmm. We love it. Beautiful clouds. So we can use this for later too. Uh, in fact, you know, I'll just save that for later, and I'll use the strip brush on it. I won't do a palette cream on this one. All right, so if you look at, this is the sidewalk. I like how you're toning that. <laughs> you look at the, see how the sidewalk is going angles this way? Uh -huh. mm -hmm. And then as you come around, it starts to straighten up because of the perspective. It does, you're right. Now it's straight, now it's going that way. Mm -hmm. Victoria says, wow, that looks awesome. See how it's going Thanks, that way. Victoria. It kind of mimics the river a little bit mm -hmm. <laughs> in color and position. It kind of does. You're I right. I love color. You're right. And when I get uh, really... The old muddy river. <laughs> yeah. Hey, we float down the river. We love to float down we the river. We love floating down the river. That's for sure. It is 6.59. <sighs> Where'd the time go? I don't know. I could sit here all day. I know. So we've got some more bushes to do. We've got 
Now here's look. This is one. This is one. Finally, we haven't finished, and I, I told you I, I was taking on quite a challenge. Yes. And so I have um, possibly bitten off quite a hunk, a chunk of, of something. To do. <laughs> but it's looking good. It's so, looking good. Take a picture of this to show my brothers. Absolutely. Yeah, so sure. we want to welcome uh, Mark Thompson out today. Yes. That's one of my favorite pieces. I did it kayaking down the river. Did it off a photograph again. Oh, wow. That's, that's a cool that's perspective. Exciting. Wow. Yeah, thank you for joining us. You told us a lot of great history, a lot of great stuff. and Macon's got it. Yeah, it does. It does. Yeah. Go talk to Ethel Garrington sometimes. He can really tell He's the head of the historic Macon. Oh, Go I can't talk wait. To and him. see, I'm from Macon, and then I went, you know, traveled the world and joined the Navy and went out, it, all over the place. Mm -hmm. and. So you saw the, the seven world, seas in the, the seven seas. Mm -hmm. I was actually at the, the Defense Intelligence Agency. So I was at a, I was making I had fun of the village people. <laughs> yeah. I wasn't ever on a ship. No, I wouldn't ever. I had the Cracker Jacks and all that. It was awesome, but I was never on a ship or anything. I was always My on photography shore. instructor was there. Yeah. <laughs> all right, we're going to, i tell you what. Let me go ahead and put that a little bit. It's kind of annoying me right there. I want to go ahead and cover that up. Okay, so let, we'll we'll leave this right here. Um, I'm gonna revisit it for sure. Yeah, he'll finish it up. I want to probably this. probably tonight. Knowing him, he'll he won't sleep. So we'll see. I want to <laughs> keep doing it now. Yeah, because I can't. We got a we got an event to go to. So see, I don't know if you can see that. See the little sewer. Yeah. I want to get that sewer in there. And yeah, it's all about tones and values. If I have something real dark here, uh, it makes it look like it's a lot of things that we'll we'll do. We'll talk about in some of the other things. So we'll do some, maybe some studio vi uh, videos if yeah. you guys are interested in that. Otherwise, mm -hmm. we just love making um, so much so much to do and see. And if you have any ideas, uh, if you want to see something particular, if you want to see a a particular place in making. Comment below. Comment. Yep. Make a comment and let us know. We'll put it on the list. Yep. We have uh, a couple a couple places we're gonna go to. We we have lined up already, but yeah, let us know. Victoria says, guess what? Okay, guess what? what? <laughs> guess what? Guess where? <laughs> guess what? What we're gonna do. Guess where, exactly. Where are we gonna go? We're gonna do it. That's and right. While I'm here, I can't stop, Penny. All right, well I'm gonna take over. We need to stop. I'm taking over. Okay, we got, we got, we're gonna go, let's go a little bit more. Okay, we're I stop, have taken go over more. the camera, we're so going. he is just gonna keep on painting, I'm gonna keep but going. we have somewhere to be, so I'm going to try to get him to stop painting. Um, uh, anyway, so <laughs> thank you all for joining us. We really appreciate it. Thank you for your support. We appreciate your support. I can't and stop. let me go pull Whitney away from this painting. All right. Thanks guys, have a great night.